Hi guys, it's Kasia from Tafala Rota. This is a VR to Wild Moon Tarot and the beautiful Elise. And this is about my July's favorites. It's the first of the video, first video I've made about this. And um, as an introduction, I want to say something. Uh, I want to say that despite of what is happening in the world and how that makes you feel, um, you don't also have to feel guilty to be happy, to be enjoying your life and to be aware that the world is always been as it is now. Um, I think the internet and our access, the immediate access to information that we have has a great influence on our evolution and right now we do have to deal with a lot of information coming at us and I'm not saying that you should not take a stand or express your emotions, express your feelings but bear in mind that if you do not put it on social media it doesn't mean that you do not talk about it, that you do not do something about it. And sometimes social media is inspiring for us to, you know, to create a change. Sometimes it gets too overwhelming. So if you feel overwhelmed, do not feel guilty that you do not participate openly online in um, the discussions about this. And if you do something about it, rather than just be present on social media, that's even better. I just want to say, like, don't let yourself be pulled down into that rabbit hole of frustration, anger, um, hopelessness, in some sense. Uh, we all feel it at the time, and it's important to let us feel this. You know, your body is the best guideline and the best um, way pointer for you to really express what is important for you right now. So with this in mind I want to move on and show you what was making me happy in July. Uh, I start with some girly things. Why not? I want to show you this brand. It's called Tiaki. And I really enjoy um, these cosmetics. They natural, they have no parabens, and they made in New Zealand. And first I got this face oil um, from my sister for my 40th and it was really cool. And then recently I just found this um, face serum and I really enjoy it, especially for summer because it's not greasy, doesn't leave your skin oily. So it's really very cool. And um, then from the essential oils, I love vetiver oil. This is a very specific and maybe for many people ugly smelling <laughs> oil. But uh, if you like earthy scents, scents that remind you of uh, forest and forest floor, moss, um, it's amazing oil and every time I wear it I always get people asking me uh, what I wear and I really um, recommend the Young Living vetiver because it's really good quality. The vetiver oil has to be thick and smell quite overpowering so you use like one drop and um, it smells amazing. Uh, if it comes to stones and crystals, my favorite this month was Seraphinite. And I have played with this stone a lot, um, plus some other storm element crystals. Um, yeah, again, just maybe it suits the vetiver oil, like it seems to be transporting me straight away to like mossy, foresty, uh, grounded yet with the like bird view kind of feeling. So yeah, it's quite a quite, quite special stone. So Seraphinite was um, played with a lot. And when it comes to decks, I just feel like I'm going to be a bit boring and repetitive. It's 
sorry, it will be quick. So, um, as usual, at least a one Marseille type deck. Uh, this time, um, yeah, Jean Doddle kind of doesn't leave me much, so I play with Jean Doddle every month. Um, so, Marseille, Tarot, uh, always there for me. I have received the cute little Delos Tarot, so I have been playing a little bit with it. Not too much yet, just because I was drawn to other types of decks. Um, this one is pretty straightforward uh, Rider Waite, Waite Smith deck with this cute little Asian um, hue put on it. So um, I have been playing a little bit with it. It's really sweet and I really enjoy it and I like that it's a mini version. It's very cute. Um, but as I said, I was actually working deeply with Tarot of the She and some other decks. So this one was just, um, I pulled a few additional cards with it. And um, yeah, I haven't really been doing that much with it. But I got it in July and I have been playing with it in July. And I really enjoy this deck. Another favorite of mine, Nigel Jackson Tarot. I know it's out of print, but if you manage to get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Nigel Jackson was a close companion of mine in July. I've been doing my own readings and client readings with this deck. And um, it reads beautifully. It's got softness, but also honesty about it. The coloring is amazing. For me, it's just one of the most beautiful decks there are. So Nigel Jackson Tarot was definitely used a lot in July and then I have used it with connection with another of my favorites, the Dark Goddess Tarot. I actually recently have etched it, a kind of old gold. I wanted to do silver but somehow I like when it's a little bit like off. So yeah, the Dark Goddess Tarot, I have played with it um, since I got it and um, that's been already like three months maybe. And now Kelly from Truth and Story and Patrick from 78 Cards, they're doing this challenge in October, uh, oh sorry, in August. And I am going to be drawing cards from the Dark Goddess Tarot as well. I just cannot get enough of that deck. So Dark Goddess Tarot and then another deck which I really used a lot. This one mostly for my own readings. Hello from my friend. Tarot of the She which I have etched and chopped off the side, um, side um, borders. And I love it. It looks to me so much better. So Tarot of She is with me every day as well. And this deck, yeah, for me it's just amazing, soulful. It's like a friend. You can really kind of talk to this deck and it gives me very supportive, very clear and insightful readings and I enjoy connecting to the she and somehow it just feels alive this deck I don't know how else to express it so Tarot of she definitely there and um, I have been actually drawing a lot of the soul cards as well with my readings so I have mixed soul, soul cards one and soul cards two they are as an addition to a reading or even to read with just with the soul cards. It's amazing. It's a totally different type of the reading. It's obvious. It's not tarot. It's an oracle deck, but it's very intuitive. It's very beautiful. Um, it gets you going on a different level. Sometimes you need to take time with these cards. 
sometimes the you know the insight comes straight away but sometimes you just need to put them down go away come back look at them go away come back look at them and the insights um start pouring in from like deep place within so they really beautiful cards so the soul cards were also being used quite a lot in july um, i have also used a combination of two nature tarots the nature spirit which is huge and i've been i shown this deck before it's gorgeous it's a beautiful deck it also feels very sacred and spiritual uh, it's totally based on rider waite smith system but um, there is no humans there's only animals and nature and plants and it just um, the book is written really beautifully and soulfully and the image yeah doesn't feel like rider waite smith so much so i really enjoy working with it it as i said feels sacred so i always do some step backs I love to use this deck for the solstices and equinoxes and any other like holy sacred days and I was connecting it with that little <laughs> so that's a huge one and then the tiny little way little one a uh, tarot of trees again Rider Wade Smith based but yeah you've got to practice your intuition with this one a lot I do not have a book to it but I don't really use it with a book anyway so Tarot of Trees and the other, the Nature Spirit Tarot, very beautiful and I played with them a lot in July. And the last one was the Kuan Yin Oracle. I had a very, and still am having a very deep love affair with this deck right now. It was lying in my cupboard for months without using it since my 40th birthday in November. And I love the artwork, so I was never thinking of getting rid of it, but right now I'm just so connected to this deck. And I even started enjoying the book. I'm not reading the whole of it. Oh, this one is so nice. So, yeah, Kuan Yin Oracle. And this amazing bags. This artwork needs to be seen life it's so beautiful so i think uh -huh, there's one more deck and that's it i often use it too these are the australian bush flower essences cards and i use them a lot in all client readings they oh, sorry <laughs> they give this amazing insights when it comes to emotional um emotional body and how we deal with our issues right now and what we need to open up to or um, transform right now. So the Australian Bushflower Essences cards, they my good friends. I use them nearly every day for myself, for clients, they're beautiful. So that's it my friends. Thank you a lot for watching. Um, Goodbye, and I speak to you soon.